Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. You may have heard of the common sexual disorders here and there from films, the news, school, or the sex pamphlet from your doctor's office. But what about the less known sexual disorders that can really affect a person's life if they have them? Well, because knowledge is power, here are six less known sexual disorders you should know about. Number one, sexomnia. This condition is a unique one where patients vocalize, fondle, masturbate, or attempt sexual intercourse while sleeping. It's a specialized non-REM parasomnia that leaves the victim with no memory of doing such things in their sleep. The condition often presents itself in individuals between 26 and 33 years old on average. There is limited research on the condition, but it more often affects males with a 67 to 87 predominance. This condition is similar to sleepwalking, but can have significant effects. Number two, hypoactive sexual desire disorder. Did you know that according to researchers, an estimated 32% of women and 15% of men had no sexual interest in the previous 12 months? There are more with sexual desire disorders than you might think. One of these disorders is hypoactive sexual desire disorder, or HSDD. This disorder is when one has no desire for sex or lack of sexual fantasy. Number three, sexual aversion disorder. Sexual aversion disorder, or SAD, lies on the spectrum with hypoactive sexual desire disorder, but is more drastic. Those who have SAD avoid and avert from sexual contact with a partner. SAD can be acquired or situational. The six subtypes include generalized, lifelong, situational, acquired, due to psychological factors, and due to combined factors. A psychophysiologic problem must exist for a patient in order to be diagnosed. And this problem must cause difficulty interpersonally and distress. You cannot be diagnosed with HSDD or SAD if you have substance-induced sexual dysfunction or a sexual disorder due to a medical condition. Number four, persistent genital arousal disorder. When one has persistent genital arousal disorder or PGAD, they experience spontaneous sexual arousal or orgasm. These are unpleasant and the disorder primarily affects women. Some found relief through masturbation. According to a case series in Pain, they reported that researchers hypothesize that many cases of PGAD are unprovoked firing of C fibers in the regional special sensory neurons that subserve sexual arousal. Some PGAD symptoms may share pathophysiologic mechanisms with neuropathic pain and itch. Number five, retrograde ejaculation. Retrograde ejaculation can cause a male's semen to divert into the bladder. A sphincter muscle shuts off access to a male's bladder when they have an orgasm. This disorder affects this muscle and in turn causes semen to redirect into the bladder. Causes range from adverse effects of drugs used for SSRIs or medications used to treat enlarged prostate, uncontrolled diabetes, nerve damage from multiple sclerosis, and complications from prostate surgery. Number six, post-orgasmic illness syndrome. This illness not only affects the victim physically, but can harshly affect their personal lives as well. Post-orgasmic illness syndrome, or POIS, causes flu-like or allergy symptoms post-orgasm. Women experience this illness, but it is most common in men. Many experts believe a cause could be due to an autoimmune or allergic reaction to semen. This is extremely painful and difficult for the individual, and there is limited treatment. Symptoms post-orgasm include weakness, fever, fatigue, mood changes, memory problems along with trouble concentrating, sore throat, and itchy eyes. What's worse, this usually lasts two to seven days. Many seek varying forms of treatment with mixed results, while others remain abstinent. Some with the illness schedule intercourse only when they have sufficient time to recover after. Do you know anyone who's diagnosed with the disorders listed? Which sexual disorders are you most surprised by? Feel free to share with us in the comments. If you found this video insightful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with someone who might need it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.